says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So he begins with, you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. In other words, if you believe the gospel that Jesus died for your sins and God rose him from the grave, nothing else added, he says, you will be saved. Verse 10, for the, with the heart, one believes and is justified. In other words, when we, when we trust and the, and the sacrifice on that altar, Jesus Christ, and what he's done for us, and, and we confess with our mouth. And with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Abraham builds an altar, and calls upon the name of the Lord. And now here Romans 10, 13 says, everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. The same phraseology, calling upon the name of the Lord. So when when Abraham said, you know what? I believe God's promise about the seed of the woman crushing the serpent's head, and he builds an off altar, and he offers up a lamb in his place, that, that was trusting in Christ beforehand. I've heard the illustration before, I think it's a good one, that believers in the Old Testament were saved on credit. Believers in the New Testament are saved on debit. What do we mean? Well, that means that, you know, Abraham was sinning and Jesus was going to pay it in the future, right? The, the death of Christ paying for the sins of Abraham was way off in the future. So by offering up a lamb, it was saying, I believe what God says that he's going to pay my debt, Believers in the New Testament, we're saved on debit. What does that mean? It means we have a big bank account. Christ died for us. He gives us the gift of righteousness. And so it's already been paid for. But both believers in the Old Testament and believers in the New Testament are saved the same way. We're justified by faith. We're justified by putting our faith in Jesus Christ and calling upon the name of the Lord by trusting in Him. 